Hi everyone, Adam Mertz again here on video giving our Benevolence Program presentation. Sorry I couldn't uh, come in person this weekend. Um, I'm here to tell you about Compassion International, which is our February mission. We have had the privilege the last three years of sponsoring two children, and we're looking to do that again this year. Um, it's one of our bigger Benevolence Program asks, uh, to be straight up about it, but it's a program that we really feel strongly about, and the benefit to our church and to these children, uh, it's a two-way street, and I'll tell you a little bit about that. The last three years, we've had a chance to sponsor Dixon Najingu from Tanzania in Africa. He lives in a farming village. Um, education is rather sparse, not existent probably at his age. And uh, the fact that he's been dedicated to this program, um, he's actually kind of like right at the edge of aging out of this program, but he wants to continue, and so we want to continue supporting him. And we have the privilege of introducing a new child that we'll be sponsoring. We unfortunately uh, had one of the, our previous girl, Glendy, uh, move on. She relocated to a different area where they didn't have the service. Um, but we're pleased to welcome Vanessa, who lives 90 kilometers northeast of Mexico City. Mountainous area, again, a pretty rural situation. Um, I'm told she enjoys playing with dolls, playing house, and reading. Um, what these kids get uh, for $38 a month, like they say in the commercials, a little more than a dollar a day, uh, they get health, medical screening, education, nutrition, and of course, spiritual guidance. Very Bible-based uh, organizations that they go to. It's not just kind of part of the program, it's in the entire curriculum. Uh, so they're getting a very well-rounded um, support in their daily lives and, and not an easy condition to live in in either of these two places. What do we get out of it from ELC besides the satisfaction of helping these two kids out? Um, we get letters, communication from each of these children regularly during the course of the year. Jennifer Mullendore has been our point person on that and uh, has done a great job of communicating back and forth with them, letting these children know that uh, we care about them, that we're thinking about them. They write and tell us about their daily lives. It gives us a vehicle to talk to children in our congregation about what life is like in some of these other countries. And also to illustrate the bond that we share uh, of going to church, uh, wherever that may be in the world. Um, the, the, as I said, $38 a day, $912 is the total cost for the year for two children. So if you can uh, find a place, a couple extra dollars to put toward this month's cause, we really would appreciate it. And we want to thank you, of course, for your support in January for immigrants and refugees. Obviously a hot topic in many areas of the world at this point. We raised $661. Uh, and of course, 10% of that will go to our sister church in Puerto Rico, where several members of our congregation got to visit uh, just a little while ago with Pastor John. Thanks as always for your support. If you have any questions about benevolence, please do get in touch with me, adammertz at yahoo.com. And uh, we are looking for support on this compassion program as well in terms of managing it. Um, Jennifer Mullendore has been awesome at it, and she would love to have an extra hand or two helping her communicate with the children. So please come to me or talk to her about getting involved that way as well. Thank you so much.